Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Um, why is this the first time you're hearing this? Give me Hosea 4. This is the first time you've heard this, right? Why haven't we heard this as a people before? What happened? Why don't you know that you're an Israelite already, before today? You, wh wh how did you grow up? You went to church as a kid, right? Say it again? You said Baptist? Okay, yeah, we grew up apostolic. Baptist, same thing. It's all the same thing, but it's a slave doctrine. Right. But listen to what the Bible says, Hosea 4, you know what I want? Yep. All right. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Bring it up. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It says my people, God's people, are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Now, it's saying God's people. Who on earth is destroyed for a lack of knowledge? Who, out of all the nations, who's the most destroyed? Just by looking at it. It's got to be us. Bring it's it us. So it's telling you God's people are going to be destroyed. You see all these other nations. All these other nations, they live in, they live in life big right now. Right. right? Read it again. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge mm -hmm. because thou hast rejected knowledge. It says we are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. But what knowledge do we lack? And then I want uh, to start abide many days. Go ahead. For knowledge? Yeah, knowledge. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Read for the priest's lips should keep knowledge. It says the priest in our community, us, your pastor, supposed to be keeping knowledge. But what knowledge is that? Read. And they should seek the law. The what? The law. Read. At his mouth. They should be seeking God's laws at their mouth. That's what they're supposed to be teaching us. That's right. But in the Christian church when we grew up, they weren't teaching us that. They just said God loves everybody. Just be good. Just love God. But how do we love God? They say God's laws are done away with, right? Right? But there's a judgment day. If there's a judgment day, what are we going to be judged on? You see how that don't make sense? If we can do whatever we want to do, according to the Christian church, why is there a judgment day? If you can just come as you are and do what you want. Bring it out. That don't make sense. We don't ask ourselves these questions. But the problem is we don't see ourselves in this Bible. It says that the children of Israel which is you, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, American, uh, Native American Indians, shall abide many days, many years, decades, without an image. What image are they talking about? What image don't we have? Say it again. The white man in our house? What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? The fake Jesus, right? So what does the Bible say he looked like? You don't know? So... The, okay, our Christian church says that he's a so-called white man, right? That's what's in the churches, but you never believed it. Have you looked in the Bible to see if it's true, though? See, this is the problem with our people. We don't look for facts. We just listen to the slave master, what they taught us in slavery, and we follow it. Bring it out. And this is how, how uh, simple it is. Let's get the image. Bring it out. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The Revelation of Jesus Christ. This fact is going to shake the earth. People do not know this. All people don't know this. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. He's given us this image to show us well, surely the things that must come to pass. Like what? That his image was going to be tainted by a so-called white man. Right. Who is not him. Now jump down. Verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. The first description of Christ. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Now who on earth has woolly hair? You do, you touch your head. You got woolly hair. Black people. That's telling you he's a black man already, right? right? Now, you look at this image right here, right? What about, where's the other one? 
You see the other one over here? Okay, you see that one, right? What kind of hair does he have? No, no, no. This one down here. Yeah, the beast. It's like a straight hair, like a dog. Right. Right? That ain't that ain't God in Christ's hair. It says it's woolly, just like you. So what image looks a little bit more accurate? This one, right? Just according, just off of reading. Read it again. His head and his hair were white like wool, Read. as white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right, so his eyes was as a flame of fire. He had red eyes because he drank wine, right? He wasn't no drunkard, but he drank wine. His eyes is red. What, what color is his eyes? They got him blue, brown, hazel, all kind of wickedness, right, Read. And his feet. And his feet. It says his feet. If, you, if you're looking down at somebody and you see their feet, they got flip-flops on, right? The feet is, the top of their feet is the same color as their legs, same color as their body for the most part, right? Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. It said his feet like unto what? Fine bread. It says his feet is like unto fine brass. What color is fine brass? Brass. Right, like the color of a penny, right? Brown, dark brown. Right, Fine right. brass is very dark brown right. already. So why, how did they get this? What color is he? He's actually red, right? right? Sure. That's why they, they blood show pour through their skin. That's what we call them rednecks in the South, right? That's a red man. He says he's a so-called black man. That's what the Bible says. Yes, right. This is a little bit more closer to the depiction, right? Read. As if they burned. And, they burn it. and then it says you're going to take that already dark brown brass and you're going to throw it in a furnace of flame and fire. You're going to take it out, let it cool. After it cools, what color is it going to be? Black. Dark black. Yes, right. Very black. Right? Read. As it been burned in a furnace. Uh -huh. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And it says his voice like the sound of many waters. That's loud. That's loud. How do they depict the so-called Christ today? The fake image. You seen the movies? The, the so-called white image. The white image of, of Jesus, the fake Jesus. How does he talk? You seen him in the movies, how he look? Look at this image. Smooth and, and soft and uh, God loves you. Come. He said he was loud. That's why, give me Isaiah 58 and one. He said he has the sound of many waters. You can put that down. The voice of thunder. Right. That's he shakes kingdoms with his voice. That's right. That ain't no normal man. They depict this this so-called image. They really gonna try to say that that's Christ, the most powerful man on the earth. Right. That walked the earth. Right. Come on, man. And he's a black man. Right. Read the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-eight, verse one. Read out. Cry aloud. That's why it says cry aloud. We tired. The black man, we tired. That's right. That's why we uh, we sit in these Christian churches and they speak soft to us. Hell no, we tired. Right. It's time to get up out of here. That's so right. we gonna cry aloud. That's why you see us yelling. That's why we so loud. That's Cause right. that's how a real men of God supposed to roll. Right. Read. Cry aloud. Uh -huh. Spare not. And we don't care about nobody's feelings neither. Right. We ain't sparing nobody's feelings because guess what? You see what's going on right now in the earth? What's going on right now? Cause some other people sleep. Like what? Okay, coronavirus. People dying. Slavery still going on. We still right. in slavery, right. right? They just give us a little uh, few crumbs called a paycheck. What else? Give me a uh, Matthew. Actually, we finish that, and I want Matthew twenty-four. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. It said, lift up his voice like a trumpet. A trumpet is very loud. Right. Read. Why do we have to be loud? Read. And show my people their transgression. It said, show my people their transgression. Yeah, what, is, right. what is transgression? Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, give me sin. Trans now, oh yeah, yeah, it's going to say it. But why does it say, show my people their transgression? Speak loud to show my people. Who's God's people? Who's Israel? It should be everybody. Blacks, Native Americans. Okay, why do we have to be loud with those people? Our people. 
Because we hard-headed. Right. You ain't going to no white man that's, that's yelling at him. You, that, you speak soft to a white man, he'll listen. But our people don't listen. Right. That's why we in this condition we in right now. Right. Read it again. And show my people their transgression. Uh -huh. And the house of Jacob their sin. Transgression and sin is the same thing. Our job is to show you that you sin, you in sin. It's time for you to stop sinning and repent and right. keep God's laws. Right. As an Israelite man, your true nationality, right. where you truly belong. Uh, go to, uh, we in uh, Isaiah, right? Give me Ezekiel 3 with the uh, hard-headed. Is that Ezekiel 3? Yeah. Yes, give me that. Because you, you said something. But guess what? The Bible is going to bear witness to that. Because you know our people hard-headed. We don't want to listen to nobody. We, want, we like to say, uh, the white man wrote the Bible. If the white man wrote the Bible, why did they leave that image in there? Don't listen. Uh huh. Right, exactly. That's what happened. That's what happened. It says when we put it, when they put us in slavery, they did what? They told us not to read and write, so they could manipulate us to believing that the Bible was the way they wanted to teach us. They would isolate scriptures to keep us docile, so that we would forget our our nationality. Because when we got off those slave ships, didn't we remember who we are? We knew who we were, right? When we got off the slave ship. Absolutely. But why don't we know now? Because through process of time, they made us forget. Stop reading. Can't read or write. But God is the mastermind. And a, and a brother will say that the white man wrote the Bible, right? But they don't know the God we serve. Don't you think the God that created the heavens and the earth is smart enough to make sure... Come, come forth, brother. You don't think that the God that made the heavens and the earth is smart enough to make sure that his people knows who they are? That's, the, that's why we, we try to uh, understand God. We are men. We can't understand his ways. Talking about white man wrote the Bible. What man didn't write a book? You see, you see the stupidity in that? Read. Hey, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. The Bible says, men, men of God, I'm going to make your face strong against the faces of our people. When you go out to teach them, read. And thy forehead, strong against their forehead. I'm going to make your mind stronger than their mind by using my Bible. Read. As an adamant, harder than split, have I made thy forehead. Come on. Fear them not. Don't fear our people when we come out to teach. That's why we're not scared of our people. Because yes, we're right. trying to save our people. Yes, read. Right. Neither be dismayed at their looks, uh -huh. though they be a rebellious house. That says, don't be dismayed at their looks, the mean mugs, the hard looks. The snickering, the, the laughing, the scoffing. Don't be dismayed by that. The white man don't do that. That's how you know this talking about black people. Right. Read. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words uh -huh. that I shall speak unto thee, Read. receive in thine heart and hear with thine ear. Right. And go, get thee to them of the captivity. It says, get to thee of the captivity. Right. Who's of the captivity? Who's in slavery? Us. Us, yeah, our right. people, right. are in captivity. Right. Read. Unto the children of thy people, mm -hmm. and speak unto them, and tell them, thus saith the Lord God. That's our job, is to tell you, thus saith the Lord God. Is there more on that? Whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. That's why it says, whether they will hear, or whether they forbear. Meaning they don't listen. you either going to listen and bow down, or you're going to die. Because guess what? Give me Matthew 24. There is nuclear destruction coming here. You see all these nukes that all these countries got? They got nuclear about Russia. What you think, they just there to sit and look nice? No, God is gonna bring down hellfire on this Babylon the Great, called oh, America. Great. America is Babylon. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse six. Come on. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. The book, read it again. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. It says you're going to hear of wars and rumors of wars. Don't we not hear that right now? There's rumors of wars, right? Iraq, Iran, first the U.S., all that. The Most High is putting the, uh, how you gonna, the chess pieces in place. He's putting the chess pieces in place so that we can get saved up out of here. But the only ones that's getting saved are those that are keeping his commandments in the faith of Christ, the black Messiah. Question. Yeah. 
Give me, um, give me, uh, yes. Men's going to the Lord. Now, you know how, how you, you play chess, right? It's a very strategic, strategical, um, tactical game, right? You got to think, right? Now, God, he made the heavens and the earth. He's the beginning and the end, right? Don't you already know that he made everything and he knew what was going to happen before it happened? He already wrote it. He said it was going to happen. He knows what's going to happen. So he's just putting things in chess, chess pieces on the board till the end game comes and checkmate, which is when we're going to get delivered up out of here. Right, I'm going to show right. you in the scripture. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24. Bring it out. Man's goings are of the Lord. The Bible says a man's goings are of the Lord. Whoever you are, any man is controlled by God. Right, right. It don't matter if he's a white man or any man. He's controlled by God. Right. God is the master of all. He controls everything that goes on this earth. Right. If he wants coronavirus to pop off, that's coming from him. Right. right. Do you think the plagues in Egypt happened without him? He controlled the plagues in Egypt. Right. right. So the same plagues we, we see today is because he wanted it to happen. Right. Whether it's sure. Ebola, whatever it is, AIDS. We scared about the coronavirus, but our, our community is smitten with AIDS and HIV. Right. Herpes, gonorrhea. The hell you worried about coronavirus? We don't have to worry about it because we keep God's commandments. Right, right. We have the shield of protection around us. Read. How can a man then understand his own way? You can't understand your ways. You can't understand why you go to work. Why you why you drive this way to go to work. God is, is the master of all. He controls your very step. He's the one that gives you mercy to not get put to death today. Right. He's the one that controls you to get here today so that you can hear the word of the prophets. That's right. He's in control of everything. Donald Trump. He's in control of Donald Trump. Why you, you think that Donald Trump doing that to the, uh, the vice president over there? You think that was him? That was God. Give me uh, Isaiah. What is it? I make evil. There you go, Isaiah 45 and 7. That's why we can't play with God. The Christian church says he's a soft, you know, he, he, God is a loving God. Nah, we don't know who we serve. We don't know the God we serve. That's the, that's the problem with our people. Read. Isaiah 45 and verse 7. Read out. I form the light and create darkness. God said, I create the light and I form darkness. Read. I make peace. I make peace. Read. And create evil. He does what? Create evil. He says, I make peace when I want it to be peace. And I create evil. All the evil that happens on the earth is because I did it. I'm in control of everything. That's Read. Right. I, the Lord, do all these things. It says, I, the Lord, do all these things. Right. The Lord. Is, can that be a white man? <laughs> no. Man, Guess what God man, is? Man. God's a black man. That's right. right. He is a black man, just like his son. That's why it says in, in the scriptures, if you see me, you've seen the Father. Ain't nobody got more, more, uh, uh, how you call it, uh, swag than a black man. Right. right. God got swag. Right. right. That, that, that's, that takes skill and tact. Give me uh, uh, Exodus 15 and 3. Right. That's why we think God is some soft uh, white man with, with the damn naked baby, white babies flying around with small wings. That's not the God that we serve. That's not the true God. Read. The book of Exodus. Chapter 15 and verse 2. Bring it out. The Lord is a man of war. It says the Lord, the black God, is a man of war. Right. He likes war. Right. Guess how we're going to get saved out of here? By war. Right. Right. War. Nuclear destruction is going to come on this planet so that we can get saved. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we men repented at heart 
the scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.